Hello, today I'm just going to go over how to use the force and motion simulation for Amplify. So first thing I want to point out is that whenever you click on an object, you are able to adjust the horizontal velocity or the vertical velocity. Horizontal meaning it going left and right, vertical it meaning it going up and down. Okay. Now a couple things I want you to be aware of. Um, Positive velocity means it goes to the right. Negative velocity will move it to the left. Uh, positive vertical velocity will make it go up. And negative vertical velocity will make it go down. Now over here on the bottom you have several different objects you can choose from. Be aware that the mass is in kg which is kilograms. And the darker the color of the object, the more mass that the object has. You also have these options here of targets where if the object happens to go through it, it will then go into this target and disappear. You can also set it where it will only disappear if it gets hit in vertically or if it gets hit in horizontally. So there are a couple of options there as well. And you can also set the speed of it needs to go into the object at a specific speed for it to actually be caught through. Okay, so uh, we'll put those there and I'll put the velocity I guess for 5 just as a heads up. Now um, you could have the objects hit each other so they can collide so you can have it like hit this goes at 5 centimeters per second and see what happens when the 20 kilogram object hits object A. So in run, you click on run you'll notice that they both go inside the first target because this had no specific requirements. The horizontal had a specific requirement of 5 centimeters per second. So if we were to switch this, you'll probably notice that if we then run it, bam, it totally passes this one because it's not going at the speed of 5 centimeters per second, so it will not be caught. Now on this screen, you can press this redo button to redo the objects and redo the examples. You can also prepare the force, so you can actually start hitting object A with some more force going that way. You can also have object B being hit with a force going up, or you can have it hit with a force going left or right. Now every time you hit it, you increase the velocity by 1 centimeter per second, so right now it's at 1. There'll also be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth. So you can adjust the speed here as well. Yeah. Now, um, you do need to reset and prepare force each time you want to change it up. So just be aware of that. Um, and one more thing we want to point out is at the analyze section. Right here, it'll tell you the total. So it'll tell you the current. Uh, speed, it'll tell you the change, it'll also tell you the amount of kinetic energy that the object possesses as well over here on this chart. Now for students at 1.5 you need to click on this three lines here, the three dash marks, go to 1.5 missions 1 through 5 for the class. So I'll click on mission number 3 as an example. It'll tell you hit the target with a horizontal velocity of negative 2 centimeters per second by exerting a force only once. So if we click on run, you'll notice that this object is already moving. As it's already moving at a fairly fast velocity, this a horizontal target did not catch it. So if we go to analyze, you'll notice that it's currently going at negative 5. And you need to slow it down so that it's actually going to be caught at an overall velocity of negative 2 centimeters per second. So here you're going to have to press on reset to reset it. You have to click on prepare force. You're going to have to hit this object in the opposite direction that it's moving in order to slow it down. So I'm going to hit it three times this way because negative five and a negative three and a positive three would then overall make it negative two. So if you click on exert, exert force, you'll notice that the object is going much slower. And at this point, it should be caught by the target. So now we go to analyze. You can also play it here if you want to. It'll show you what's happening here. And it should be caught there. You'll notice that the current velocity is negative 2 centimeters per second. The change was a positive 3 because I did exert a 3 centimeter per second velocity in the opposite direction or to slow it down. 
Now, since that was on mission number three, you would come to this chart to fill it in. Change the velocity, once again, can either be speed up, slow down, start, stop, or change direction. For this one, it was slowing down, so you're going to write slow down. Force direction, the object was overall still moving in the left direction, so you're going to write left here. So the current force strength and change in velocity, you guys can record that based off of the information from the chart. So if we go to the chart here, it says current is negative 2 and the change was a positive 3. So in here you're going to type in negative 2 and you're going to type in 3 for the change in velocity to match it up.